Before we go any further to learn about components in Blazor, let's see how Blazor handles static resources. And when I say static resources, I mean those images, JavaScript, style sheets. And in the previous videos, we have seen this diagram and we know that for Blazor, a request is mapped to the root component. And then the router components are responsible for looking for the components and place them inside the root component. But what about the static resources? For static resources, they're mapped directly to the resource itself. Whether it's image or style sheets or JavaScript files, it's mapped directly to the file itself and then displayed inside the browser. And what's responsible for that is, let's go inside Visual Studio here and let's take a look at this program.cs file. And if you still remember, this app object helps us to configure the middleware pipeline. And each one of these functions is, is considered as a middleware. So what is responsible for mapping requests to Blazor is this map razor components function, right? This middleware. And what is responsible for mapping static resources is this use static files middleware. So this middleware will help us to map the request that looks for static resources to the static resource itself. And in Blazor or any type of ASP.NET Core applications, there is a specific place where you need to place those static resources. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And that place is this www root folder. This is a special folder and you place all of your static resources under it. You can create a subfolder and you don't actually have to create the subfolders. To help us to practice working with static resources, what I want to do is, let's take a look at the current application here. I want to show a picture about each button and those pictures will be corresponding to each cities. And I have already prepared the images for you. So I'm going to copy and paste that into our www root folder here. Okay, I have done that and you can see that I have images folder right here. And if you open it, I have the images that corresponds to each city and you can see that I have the images right here. So I will be attaching these images under this lesson so you can download it and practice yourself. What I need you to do is to display like, the corresponding picture for each city just above the button. Maybe pause the video and try to do that yourself and then come back and see how I do it. So let's go to the servers component here. This is the page component and we're displaying the cities right here. Inside each column, we have this button. So all we need to do is to place an image above this button. But in order to make it look pretty, I'm going to use Bootstrap. I'm going to show you how to use a Bootstrap card. Maybe this is also beneficial to you, but you don't have to use Bootstrap card if you don't like it. So I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's go to Bootstrap and let's go to the documentation here. And if you scroll down to the components part, there is a card section here. And the card section shows you a simple card like this. You can place image on the top. So let's copy this HTML into clipboard and then let's come over here and try to use it. So let's move this button inside. So I'm going to replace this cart body here and right, just put the button inside here. And we are going to render our image right here. So here for the source attribute, this is where you need to use razor expression. And because you need to do a little bit logic here, therefore you are going to use explicit razor expression. So the city name is right here. Think about how you're going to do it. But we're going to do a at sign and a pair of parentheses. So inside it, we can use string interpolation to target the images folder because our images are inside the images folder under www root. And because it's a root folder, so you're going to start with slash. This signifies the root folder and then images. And after that, we're going to have uh, curly braces to do the string interpolation. And we can just use CD inside here. And after this string interpolation, I'm going to put the extension name because each one of this image is a PNG image. And I think that's everything we need here.
let's restart the application and see how it looks now. So it looks pretty big and that's probably because it says the width. So let's delete this and see whether that fixed our problem or not. All right, that fixed our problem. This looks pretty good. And that's everything I want to cover in this video. I hope you had fun playing with images. And if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.